Now, team, keep it clean. Forgive me because I was out all day helping one of my friends move. So I just got back to the crib and I see this. I, I see this. And even though I was helping one of my friends move, I think Ronnie Stanley, he was trying to give Filele packing because he was watching him. He said, hold up now. You trying to take my job, buddy? You think you want to replace me, buddy? Oh, no, no, no. I'm on the way back. So now. After like two years in Phil, cause last year don't count. Last, last year does not count for Ronnie Stanley. Finally, after so long, we will see Ronnie Stanley playing in an NFL football game. Let's read the report from Mike Garofalo. Because it was such a beautiful report to read, especially how just these whole this whole season has transpired. Ronnie Stanley, is he going on IR? No. Is he going on the, the pup list? No. But this was a way for Ronnie Stanley to be able to practice with his guys, to practice with his teammates. Because if he would have went on either list, you can't practice, buddy. So Ravens were like, no, 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 we're not going to put him on any of that stuff. It's like, okay, Ronnie Stanley, he ain't starting on the physically unable to perform this. He ain't starting on IR. Is he playing? And Ravens were like, nope, not at all. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. And he didn't play. Week one, he didn't play. So, okay. Cool. Week two, he didn't play. Week three, he didn't play. And fans start questioning what's going on with Ronnie Stanley. What's up with him? Then he came out and said, oh, yeah, I had the, the ankle surgery and whatnot, but I had another lower body surgery, too. He did not disclose what it was, but it had us thinking, oh, whoa, whoa. We didn't know that. But most fans were like, well, still get your butt out there, Ronnie. We it, buddy. And nothing. Nothing. Some people thought he didn't want to play football anymore. Some people thought he was going to retire. Some people thought he should retire. Some people been talking about trading him, this, that, and a third. But... Now, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Help is on the way. And poor Ravens needed. Anyway, getting to the report it said from Mike Garofalo, he said the Ravens will welcome all pro left tackle Ronnie Stanley back tomorrow. Sources tell me in a rap sheet. After being held out the last few weeks, Stanley will play for the first time since last season's opener and only the second time since fracturing his ankle Almost two years ago. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That's a beautiful thing. Um, that's, that's a beautiful thing. Because now, again, remember, with Ronnie Stanley, uh, we got to get a little more serious now. Let's put on a collar, fix a collar, turn a collar up. All right, straight face now. So, with Ronnie Stanley... You got to temper expectations. This will be his first game back in a long, a, a long, well, y'all know, a long time. You cannot expect him to come out there and be perfect. You cannot expect him to come out there and be shut down and whatnot. Well, shut down for a left tackle, be dominant. Um, you, you cannot expect him to come out there and just get back to all pro. I mean, that's the hope. That's, of course, the goal in the long term, but... This could be a process. It could be something that takes some time. So, if Ronnie Stanley gets beat from jump by Trey Hendrickson from Sh uh, Hubbard, even though Hubbard, I think he played on the other side. But either way, if he get beat by somebody, it's okay. It's okay. It's a process. It's a process. I mean, <laughs> like, Lamar used to having a bunch of pressure in his face anyway. So, it's a process. But this just... um. It upgrades the quality of the offensive line. I guess uh, <laughs> I couldn't be serious for too long. I guess Ronnie Stanley was looking like, man, I see Filele over there. Aunt Patrick McCary coming back this week too. Oh, no, nah, I ain't having it. Cause these boys, they over here fighting each other over my job. Oh, no, not going down, not going down. I'm getting back in the mix. So you got to feel like uh, it's week five. Um, Ravens have held Ronnie Stanley out uh, You gotta feel like he's gotta be like 120% healthy Cause you know like J.K. Dobbins Second round pick A couple years back 
and they held him out. Not like he's making all this crazy money, but still there's that investment there. But they still were very patient with him. They got high hopes for J.K. Dobbins. He's a big part of their plans. But Ronnie Stanley is somebody with number six overall pick, but not just high hopes. But like, yeah, they, they already invested a lot into Ronnie Stanley. A lot into Ronnie Stanley. So, um, you, you know they're being extra careful with this investment. Extra careful. So that's why I say he's got to be like 120% healthy. Got to be. And ain't no other way around it. So, this should be interesting. This should be very interesting. Now, with Marcus Peters. I don't know what's going on with Marcus Peters. I know they said, oh, yeah, he practiced one day this week. And then that was the day that he went on the injury report. But I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a coincidence that. Maybe when he was yelling at Harbaugh, oh, that's when, oh, my quad, ah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking. Y'all know. I'm just talking. So, I don't know. Hopefully, Marcus Peters can play. Because if he can't, oh, gosh. I, I don't want to imagine if Marcus Peters can Because, I mean, you... <laughs> I don't want to imagine if Marcus Peters can't play because that, ooh, yikes. Ugh. That could, oh, I don't even want to think about it. But I have to think about it because it may happen. But we'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow night. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a, a nice, nice update. A nice, um, it's nice. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so, yeah, Ronnie Stanley, he only makes the team better. Uh, he doesn't hurt at all. I mean, when your offensive line gets better, I mean, who who wouldn't be happy about that? Especially as a quarterback, as a running back, as a wide receiver, you got more time to run your routes. Uh, and they're going to need some time to run their routes tomorrow. Because, uh, what, DuVernay, Prochet, Tylen Wallace, Demarcus Robinson, and whatever receiver ends up getting called up. Hold up. If, will the receiver get called up, though? Because they, they called up Brandon Copeland. I don't... Remember seeing anything about anybody else being called up. Uh, so, anyway. Ronnie Stanley's back. We're glad. I appreciate it. I, we appreciate the fact that we'll see number 79 out there on the field actually playing. Not just a jersey in the stand. Not just on the sideline. We ain't going to be just looking at him, whatever he's doing on Instagram. No, no, no. This will be him actually playing on the field. And this is a beautiful thing that Ronnie Stanley, no, for no longer, for not a second longer, will we hear Ronnie Stanley is out. 